<laughs> Anything that you would li like to leave us with? Yeah, let's go down the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to take advantage of all your resources. There's, uh, what are we, UCF is what, the second largest community of students at the university level. Because <laughs> they're the number one. We're number one. Well, I'm on a tax, so I didn't know. <laughs> Three years <laughs> running. In, in my Dude, I've been day. out long and I still do. <laughs> My day about eight months ago, we were number two, <laughs> and that was fine. The kids were number ones, and we did just fine. But <laughs> hey, football number one, my graduate. <laughs> I think that was a little one of this one. Okay, I would say take advantage of, of just meeting everybody you possibly can, and just make friends. Just be just be friendly, because you never know how that's going to come across later on. You never know how so and so you met so and so long ago. I think I worked with five people that I've had class with or went to SC, SDC meetings and FDC. Five. Um, and it's a huge percentage of them, the number of people I work with. So, you know, you, you might not just be with them for just one or two classes. It might be a lot longer. Um, mm -hmm. But also use them to help you. Plus, they're a lot easier for you to kind of communicate with because they're kind of on your level. So, it also makes sense. So, good job. Try not to assume that you're never going to see them again, so it doesn't matter how much. Do not make a prediction. I'm going to share most everything. Oh, so to tie back to what I said at the very beginning of the meetings, I said I would talk about it and then didn't. It was important like that. Uh, so the Mary Kay thing, you're like, okay, again, what the hell does this have to do with tech writing? So I think the biggest thing I learned uh, first almost two years on a job is the first years on your job, and even to some degree if you transfer to a new job, is be open to learning about yourself. Hmm. Because you will be put under pressures you have not been put under before. Even if, it, even if you have been a tech writer before, but you're suddenly in a different industry, it's new challenges, it's new pressures, it's new stresses, and you will learn a lot about yourself <coughs> through the challenges you are given at work. And I encourage people to look at it that way. Because that's the one thing I will always do, is I will jokingly complain about my projects, but I always joke about it. Like to me, it's always a laughing, and I've had on one of my dumpster fires of a project, <laughs> uh, I've had one of the managers ask me, he's like, Something, something again happened, blew up, you know, burned down. And he's like, well, at least you're laughing about it. And I was like, well, at this point, it's like laugh or cry. And which one you do is it tells you about yourself, how you handle the stretches you're going through. And I said, you know what? I chose to not take it personally. Because, I mean, it's not blowing up because I did something wrong. It's just that's what happens sometimes. Things go wrong. Things don't work. Word decides to quit and take half your book with it. Like, that's life, and how you react to that, and what you learn about yourself, can make you not only a better person, but a better employee. Um, and so, look at it that way. So the reason I became a Mary Kay consultant, uh, I realized through leading these projects, kind of getting thrown under the bus on some of them, and not expecting that I would be leading them, um, and then inheriting them, was I realized I actually really enjoyed the challenges of kind of managing my own project and running that and being my own boss in a way because I didn't answer anybody on these projects except, you know, my program, but as long as I did everything right, I didn't answer, you know, to anyone. I got to pick what I worked on, what I thought was important, and kind of really, I never thought I'd want to be like an entrepreneur. I was, I was always like, yeah, no, that's not me. But that kind of lit that fire. I'm like, yeah, I kind of enjoy this and I kind of like doing this and so I'm going to try doing that. So having my own business, even if it's just a side, even if it's just I have no intention of not being a tech writer anymore. I made that very clear when I joined. I like my job. But having that extra outlet, that extra way to learn and grow, because by growing that, it's challenging me financially, managing finances, managing my schedule, managing all this, which is only going to help my own tech writing job. You know, so 
And I never in a million years would have thought I'd done that. If you told me two years ago, I would have laughed in your face and said, that's great, but let's get real. You told me that five months ago, I would have also done the exact same thing. And when I first got asked, I did that. And then the gal asked again, and she made me think about it. And I said, you know, I do kind of already do that. And I do actually want to learn more about myself. And I want to try this thing I never thought I'd try before. And you know what? I learned it working at Lockheed Martin. And that is why I became a married consultant because I worked at Lockheed Martin. And it inspired me to try new things. Coworkers who my team lead and my boss know, they can ask me because I've got something and I can pull someone in and help me with it. And you get known as that person, as being that initiative, as having that work, everyone notices it because then not only is it in your commits, your review, the reviews people writing about you, people write about what they did for you. Yeah. So now this person's seeing it from their angle where they said, this person gave me this stuff to do and I did all this and they're trying to make it look really nice and impressive because I did all this amazing work, well then it's just like, wow, they found this work for someone to do, like that is in the back of their head, so you're just getting an extra bump as well. Mm 